Welcome to May's Lead Code Challenge. Today's Lead Code Challenge is check if it is a straight line. So you are given an array coordinates uh, with X and Y, which X and Y represent the coordinates of a point. So say that we're given an array of coordinates and we're given all these points. We want to check to see if it's all on a straight line of some sort on the XY plane. So you can see here when we visualize it, all of them are on a straight line. In example two, these are clearly not going to be on a straight line. So how do you do this? Well, the first thing you need to realize is if there's only two points given to us, that means it's going to be on a straight line, right? Because wherever these two points are, we can always form a straight line between them. So let's first make that check here. Say if length of coordinates equals two, then return true. And that's automatic. Now, the way I went about solving this is to think about it mathematically. The formula for a line is something like this, where y equals y and x equals x. A is going to be the slope, and c is some sort of constant value, right? So what was the formula for the slope? Well, if you remember your high school algebra, it just, with, with two points, you get difference between y2 and y1 and divide that by difference between x2 and x1. So that gives us the slope. So given that, if we calculated our formula, uh, it wouldn't be too hard to check to see each coordinate to make sure that this formula holds. And if it does for each point, then we could say, yes, these are on a straight line, return a true. If it doesn't, then we could automatically go ahead and return a false. So let's first calculate um, well, what do you want to calculate our slope? Just do that algebraically. It's going to be what? Y minus slope times X, right? Okay, so let's first pull some points so that we can calculate our formula. We just need two. So I'm going to pull out X1, Y1, X2, and Y2 from the first two points inside of our array. Um, so this is going to be our x1. And we're going to do this a couple times. This will be our x1. This will be our y1. This will be our x2. And this will be our y2. So great. Now let's calculate the slope. It's going to be this. And let's calculate our constant value, which is going to be that. And we could just use any one. Let's use x2 to do that. Now for each coordinate inside of coordinates, let's actually pull out the x and y like this. And we'll just check. Okay, we'll check does y equal um, slope times x plus our constant value that we calculated. And we'll say if this doesn't equal each other, then we can return a false. Otherwise, we've gone through the entire array and we can return a true. Right, so this would be calculating the formula. And that would be it. So this does solve our test case, but when we submit this, you'll find that it runs into an error actually because of a zero division error. And I forgot, well, x2 minus x1 might equal zero. And if that happens, then this would throw an exception. There is no slope. So I thought about that and you realize if x2 and x1 equal each other and the slope doesn't exist, that means it's a straight vertical line. So there is no slope. There's actually no formula. The y doesn't depend on the x. Um, the only way this condition would hold that it's in a straight line is if all the x's were the same. So I just made an exception clause here. I said, okay, well, if x2 minus x1 equals zero, well, then we need to do something different. We need to run through the coordinates and we'll check, okay, does x just equal, like, let's say x1 for each time? Because they all should be the same for this to uh, be true. That's the only way. If they're not, then we have to return a false because they're obviously not on a straight vertical line. 
Uh, otherwise, we can go through the whole thing and we can return a true right there. So that's kind of my uh, slope doesn't exist exception. And that does get accepted. Now, I wasn't too happy with this solution just because it's a little wordy and making these exceptions isn't always the best idea. I did see a better solution on the discussion board. And what they decided to do is rather than calculating this formula, why don't we just take the two points and for each point calculate the slope and make sure that all the slopes are the same because they have to be. If all the slopes are the same, that would mean they're all in a straight line um, and this and this constant value doesn't actually matter. So um, to do that, well, we don't even need all this then. We can just get rid of that. And what we'll do is we'll check every coordinate. We have these two points that we could calculate the slope with. And we do something like y2 minus y divided by x2 minus x. This, if it doesn't equal the slope for y1 minus y, divided by x1 minus x. If this fails, then we could turn, return a false. But again, this doesn't solve our zero exception error, right? So, but you could do something here. You could just reshuffle this equation. Uh, you could take this and multiply that right there and take this and multiply that here. And that actually is asking the same thing. So let's try running that, and that should take care of our zero exception, and that does get accepted. Now, when I looked at the hints, I saw if there's only two points, return true, I already knew that, and check if all points. This is basically the, the approach we went with. But hint three, use the cross product to check collinear collinearity. Yeah, I, I looked at that, and I realized Man, I got to brush up on my linear algebra because I don't really remember how that works. Um, I saw some solutions that use that, but it was not something that I'm comfortable explaining. So definitely check that out. Um, it's definitely worth studying, but I, I just don't really remember it. So I decided not to go into it. All right. Thank you.